in the booklet, turn to pages one and two, and it's talking about line quality. The first step in line quality you want is to sharpen your pencil. Now when we're doing all of this artwork for drawing faces and hands and croquis, you don't want to use a mechanical pencil. The reason being that a mechanical pencil, it's very difficult to get line quality. As well, the tip will break really easy unless you get a thick one, and then the thick one, all of your lines will be too dark. So that's why I highly recommend to use just a plain old number two pencil or to use an HB art pencil. When you first sharpen your pencil, the tip of the pencil is extremely sharp. And when you draw, the line that you draw ends up being very light and very thin. Eventually what we want is we want the tip of the pencil to be a little bit rounded off so then we can get a wider, darker line. So after you sharpen your pencil, the first thing you want to do is just do some circles, pressing down gently, and also twist the pencil in your hand. And then I'm, I'm going at different angles as I go. And the whole idea of this is now the tip has a rounded shape to it but it's still a sharp pencil. So what we're going to do now is a series of lines where we're going to start pressing hard and as you move along let go and off into the air. So go ahead and follow along with me now. So going from left to right, start hard as you travel along, get lighter, and then eventually into the air. And then do some quickly. Now let's do some lines going the other direction. But again, you're going to start hard and end light. Now I want you to do the opposite. So these, this set right here that we just did at the bottom, I want you to duplicate that, but now this time going in this direction. So you need to start light and then eventually get dark as you go. And then duplicate these by going the opposite direction. So starting light, heading this direction, and get dark at the end. Now what these lines are called is a nuanced line. So it, it changes, it varies as it goes. One other one that you can do also is you would start heavy, get light in the middle, and then back to heavy again. And then reverse that, start light, get heavy in the middle, and back to light again. So that was this section right here. The next part is working on curves and arches. So let's turn our paper over. Now something I want for you to notice is, for me, I'm drawing with my right hand. And your wrist has a nice pivot point here. For me, as a right-handed person, I love drawing arches going from low to high towards my right side. 
As soon as I have to do the opposite, it feels really awkward and my lines look terrible, especially if I haven't been drawing for several months, this will get worse and worse. Something else that feels awkward too is coming down towards my wrist. So going like this, and then this one as well, going turning away. So out of all three of these, my best one is this here. Now normally what I like to do is, if I had to draw all four of these, I would use my wrist going this direction, I would turn my paper so I can use my wrist going this direction, and then I would turn it going like that, and I would turn it going like this. But as a professional artist, you should get your hand trained where all four of these directions feel natural. So something that I like to do is I'll just draw a circle and then I'll do some going the direction that I like and again you're starting heavy and you're light as you're coming off. Going away, down, So you're training your hand to be pretty equal on all of these. That's what you're working towards. Also, try not to judge it. Just get the motion. Don't worry about the spacing. And if you can, always just start dark and end light. And quick movements. If you notice somebody's line is got a lot of squiggles in there, it's because you move too slow, so you just need to move quicker. Also doing these exercises is to help get your brain to let go. Usually when you first sit down to draw, if you say, hey, here's a blank piece of paper, I'm now going to draw the perfect face, you're going to have tension the whole time you do it. But if you take the time to just sharpen your pencil, Listen to the sound of the pencil sharpener as a cue to your brain that I'm getting ready to be creative, I can let go. And then starting off with just doling out your tip, you don't care what you're doing, you're freeing up your mind, and then you put in some of these nuanced lines going in different directions, starting light, starting heavy, and you're getting your brain to just let go of everything and get into this creative mode of drawing. And then again, do one of these where you have a circle. And then you're doing the curves away, starting heavy, ending light. And all of this will help just free you up so you're ready to start drawing. So do this every time that before you draw. And sometimes if you're just bored and you want to sketch or do something, um, these are also great little exercises for you to do. And this is similar to a gymnast stretching out, getting ready to do gymnastics, or a swimmer or a runner. This is the equivalent of stretching out and getting ready to draw.